Hi, is horizontal motion independent of vertical motion? And vertical motion independent of horizontal motion? Well, that's what we're gonna to try to work on with this video. In the absence of air resistance, they should be. But we're gonna check it out using this. This is a ballistics cart. It's got a plunger that's on the inside that I can load with this ball. And to trigger it so it shoots, there's a little photo gate right here that if I block, and shoot, shoot the projectile straight up and down. This photo gate will get triggered by this peg right here, so when it rolls by, it should fire it straight up. But I'm not gonna have it just sit right here, I wanna give it a push. And so it's moving at a constant speed when it gets to that point, and it shoots the ball straight up in the air. The question is, where does the ball land? Well, a lot of physics breaks down into Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Remember the story that's the porridge is too hot, too cold, or just right? Well, this one, the ball could land in front, behind the cart, or in the cart. And so, think about what you predict, and then we're going to give it a shot. So here we go. Give it a push. It landed back in the cart. So, the question is why? Well, when I gave it a push, the ball is on the inside of this, and so the ball and cart are all moving at the same speed right there, sideways. And it's gonna keep moving sideways because it has inertia. It being shot up in the air has no effect on the motion sideways because there's no component of that up in the air that's gonna affect left and right. And so it's gonna keep moving this direction at the same rate as this. And so even though gravity is slowing it to a stop and bringing it back down, Side to side motion is not affected. And as long as we're moving slow enough where air resistance is not a factor, it should land straight back in. So here we go. Let's see if it works a second time. Now the question is, what happens if this is a non-inertial reference frame? Which means that the cart's actually accelerating the entire route. What would happen then? Tune in to another video later and we'll test that idea and see what happens. Uh, but thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel for some more physics. Goodbye.